Hi, and welcome to cgboomer.com. My name is Hans Erickson, and today is session two in making props for my short film. And if you remember, we had left off uh, right about here where we had fixed this texture image uh, for my uh, uh, prop, which is the Blender record. And uh, so we're going to continue on from here. As you remember, I had explained before that uh, in every film we have what's called an antagonist and a protagonist, uh, kind of like cops and robbers, uh, good guys versus bad guys, although uh, it isn't always necessarily uh, conceptually good and bad, it's just forces that oppose each other. And the uh, forces that are opposing each other in this case is um, an old man that is stuck in the uh, technology and in the old days and he's being brought into a uh, reality of uh, today's environment and uh, this is the force right here that is going to force him into uh, seeing a new world in other words uh, learning new tricks so uh, this record is going to be a magic record which is going to turn into a blender record uh, because it's going to be blender that introduces them to uh, all the new things that awaits them so uh, right now it just looks like a plain black vinyl record and my idea was is to allow this record to transform into something different and to make it look like a blender record I've decided to kind of utilize the blender logo a little bit and excuse I've got a message that uh, I put do not disturb and it popped in uh, but anyways uh, let's take a look and see what we have here uh, let's go to uh, here we go this is the blender logo and as you notice uh, it's kind of a circle with a orange uh, outline and a white uh, middle circle and a blue inner circle and that's kind of like the basic design now the blender logo is a little restrictive in that it um, uh, the circles are very concentric and uh, follow specific guidelines with uh, a wide orange and a narrower white and a in a, uh, a blue center <laughs> excuse me but um, seeing I just want to approximate and kind of get the general idea of it uh, we're going to kind of fudge a little bit and within my record I'm going to use uh, what I have in this record now to approximate that and uh, right now I have some several I have a couple lines of demarcation one of them is this circle right well of course the outer edge then I have this area right in here which is a non recorded area and then I have the center so I'm going to make this area transform into the orange this area to transform into the white and this area to transform into the blue so let's go ahead and kind of get started on that uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new image this is what I use to fix the image now I'm going to go ahead and make a new object that will that will transform here so making sure my cursor is in the center I'm going to go shift a mesh and circle and I don't know why that oh I didn't have my cursor in the center so let's go ahead and expand this here a little bit let's get rid of that circle and let's do things the way that I'm supposed to so let's go shift s cursor to center shift a uh, I'm going to add a circle and then I'm just going to let's go ahead and go into object mode here and 
or in um, I should say vertex mode here and let's go ahead and just scale this out all the way to approximate the center there there we go or I should say the outer edge and then I'm going to go extrude and then E to extrude then S to scale in just a little bit and I'm just going to come in about that far just so that I have an edge loop that is close out here to hold the form then I'm going to extrude again and S to scale and I'm going to scale that into right there then E to extrude S to scale I'm going to bring that into right about there and then E to extrude S to scale and I'm going to bring that right into the center now you'll notice quite a bit of artifact there uh, that is if I go ahead and hit A to select everything uh, that is because my normals are not correct so if I hit uh, control N to recalculate the normals you see everything looks just right uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and add control R I'm gonna add a loop right about there to help hold actually I don't think that's necessary there <coughs> let's uh, uh, control Z that let's go control R I want a loop that is gonna help hold that center form a little better and that should work I can go ahead and get rid of my other circle here so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and then I'm gonna take this and by shift clicking whoops excuse me just by clicking on that double clicking here uh, that opens that up to where I can change the name and I'm going to call this blender R-E-C-O-R-D and if you hear little voices in the background that's my grandkids making noise when they're not supposed to all right uh, let's go ahead and just add a basic material to this and we're just going to go ahead and leave these settings as is and then I'm going to go ahead and add a texture new and I'm going to go image or movie and I'm going to open go to my texture file here and I'm going to use my blender record color here and I'm going to open the image and you can see that it kind of fits but not quite so let's go ahead and fix that right now and we can do that by going to UV editing and let's uh, go ahead and a you'll have to excuse the messages yeah I guess he didn't see my little thing that said uh, I'm recording and make sure that I'm on the right image here so if I go to this image here which for some reason isn't picking up correctly ah there we go <coughs> ah the reason is, is I haven't unwrapped it so let's go U and project from view and we're going to go ahead and hit bounds and then we're going to come in here and hit A to select everything come in here and let's hit S to kind of scale everything in so that that center fits just right and that looks plenty good we can go ahead and by hitting shift and alt we and then clicking on the lines here we can deselect these two and with everything else selected let's go ahead and hit S to scale it outwards 
so that we got that in approximately the right place and it appears as though I'm going to accept that just exactly the way that it is now um, you may notice that this doesn't look right now and the reason is if we go over here it is because we're still on generated instead of map to UV so if I click that boom everything looks right so here's our record the other thing that we need to do is go ahead and let me take a look here and we need to map it to a NOR and we also have a let's go new and clouds image or movie <coughs> and we should be changing these names so this will be black vinyl V I N Y L and color so we don't lose track of what we're doing and we'll call this uh, R-E-C-O-R-D and NOR. Let's go ahead and open up our NOR open image and we want to make sure that it's image sampling is normal map and this also is UV and deselect color and select the geometry and that should work just fine alright now we're stuck with the idea that we want to be able to transform this from what it's at um, into a blender record well the way that we're going to do that is with a little trick and if I come over to here and I choose the black vinyl you'll notice that if I come down to here under the color mapping if I were to take this and take it down to zero the only thing that would show would be the normal map and again if I were to pop it all the way back up then this would show and I can do this with an animation curve so let's go ahead and take this and let's make three texture slot or three material slots so we're gonna add one and two and we're going to change the first one and we're going to call it uh, white no excuse me orange uh, well let's call it what we want to call it we'll call it uh, B L E N D E R and O R A N G E <coughs> we'll come down to this texture slot and we'll just call this blender B L E N D blender um, white and we can come down to here and we can call this one now this is going to all change here in a second blender blue alright and that's basically our lines of demarcation so if we come into here right now everything is mapped to the orange so if I go ahead and let's start with the blue and let's just select this whoops let's by alt and right clicking here we'll select whoops There we go. Alt and right. I don't. Ah. Uh, there we go. That's a Linux thing. 
that I'm having problems with and I need to change a setting and I hadn't done it yet so you'll have to excuse me um, and let me there I go seeing that this area here is going to be the blue if I just hit a sign now this will be the blue area if I come over here if I then A, D select. Now if I select this and this line, it's a little hard to see, I can assign that to the white area and let's check and see now. Um, let's deselect everything by hitting A and if I what's left over is the white so it looks like everything's good uh, apparently I kinda lost how my image is mapping here so let's see what I need to do there let's uh, run over to UV editing let's hit all all should be everything should be mapped correctly I wonder if I go over to UV editing and default let me check over here and here are my problems here <coughs> um, I need to map this to color and nor come back over to here the blender blue I need to also need to map this to color and down here to nor there we go everything is correct except the nor is showing through because go from color to nor there we go getting everything correct now let's run back over to here and hit the white and roll down here <coughs> make sure that we're in the texture slot there and let's change to UV and color to nor and I think on the white or the blue I didn't hit UV as well no I did not so UV and that's UV that's good for some reason the nor didn't uh, change correctly let's go ahead and just check the white again real quick and make sure I'm UV on both and UV there and map to UV here there we go everything should be correct now now the only thing left is to go ahead and get the colors in and uh, we're going to do that by going ahead and utilizing uh, if we go to here you'll see that I can go ahead and download this blender file and uh, the licensing information is over here and I'll go ahead and supply that along with the blend uh, but usage and artwork and community it explains it right here and uh, the guidelines are not meant to make these versions illegal or officially uh, disapprove and it's meant to only clarify blender foundation guidelines making fun or cool versions of the blender logo is really part of your own artistic freedom and the blender foundation will never act against such tributes just don't expect us to officially approve it well I'm not asking for their official approval um, but I am going to 
have a little fun with it and um, I hope they officially approve of what I've done <coughs> but uh, what I did is I downloaded right here the blender logo file and let me go ahead and bring that up real real quick and I will go ahead and supply that and if I go ahead and put this into a textured mode here you can see that I have my colors ready to show and if I go ahead and just take a photo of this you'll see that the colors are in there the orange the white and the blue so let's go ahead and uh, make use of that and what we're going to do is we're going to go file and we're going to append and go to uh, the session which is right here day two blender record two and go into the blender logo go into the materials and there's our three materials and if I shift and right click on those I can make sure I've appended yes I have and I can append them into the library now my blender orange here all I've got to do now is go find that and that'll be this one right here if I go into the white I can come up here and logo white and if I go down to the blue I can come up here and I can go blender blue oh no excuse me logo blau in a foreign language uh, and I can go ahead and change these names I'm just gonna go ahead and and uh, I am just going to make it a little more readable for myself and so I am going to just logo B L B L U U E and I'm just going to put a capital B logo blue and I can come here and W H I T E and B L <coughs> and coming to here O R A N G E and B L All right I got everything assigned the way that I want. Now the only difficulty again is if I were to save this file out exactly where it is we have our blender, blender record but obviously it's not um, exactly what we want uh, because it's not showing the uh, I'm gonna hide this it's kind of annoying at the moment there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and hide the lamp uh, everything will still work as you can see if I take a photo of it even though it's so-called hidden with a little eye it's still everything still works the only time it wouldn't work is if I hit these little render symbols here so if I were to uh, my nor isn't showing right at the moment Ah, because I haven't got those in there so let's go ahead and and fix these so let's go ahead and we'll add in the black vinyl color and we'll make sure that this is set to UV there we go and then we'll go here and add the record nor and we'll pop down here that has got normal map and hit UV change color to geometry there we go and let's run to the next one I really should have done this right the first time there we go and run down here 
set it to there we go UV and run back up here and nor and make sure normal map is checked generated to UV click off the color and go to material all right and <coughs> let's go to the last one here we'll go to the blue and add these textures in here real quick we'll go black final color and again make sure that we are set to UV and then add in the last texture slot here which would be the NOR and normal map is checked set to UV change from color to normal and we are good to go and now all we have to do is change it from this state to the blender record state which again if you remember if I come up here to this texture slot and if I turn this color all the way off it instantly changes to the orange and if I were to hit F12 we have a partial blender record so we're going to take care of all of that with animation and let's go ahead and do just a little bit of work here let's bring out my calculator and we're going to say that I want this clip to run oh let's say 30 seconds and at 24 seconds per um, or 24 frames per second uh, if I went 30 seconds and times 24 frames equals 720 however seen I'm beginning with frame 1 I actually want this to run to 721 so let's move this over and we're going to put the beginning at 721 or the end at 721 and so now we have a clip that will run for 721 seconds or or 721 frames which would be 30 seconds and so this is my state right now of where I want everything at so if I were to uh, come in here and say my next state so my beginning state is exactly where it's at so let's go over to here and we're going to kind of do a little fast clicking back and forth I'm going to hover over here I am presently on th this the orange so I'm going to flip down to here and I am going to hover over here and if I hit I I inserted a keyframe and I made sure that I was on frame number one so now if I jump over to the next slot the white pop over to here make sure I'm on the black vinyl run down to here where are we there we go hover over this area hit I and now I've go ahead and mapped that texture slot for frame one if I go to the blue and make sure I'm on the black vinyl I'm not going to change the nor at all the nor is going to stay constant all the way through and hover over the color go ahead and hit I and now that is mapped okay now let's say I want to start my transition at 10 seconds so 10 times 24 equals 240 well 10 seconds would actually be 241 so let's go ahead and set my position to 241 notice everything stays the same and I'm just going to go ahead and remap all that so coming down to here I'm going to go ahead and it's green right now 
and it'll turn orange when I hit I because that will mean that I've got a keyframe right there. And coming over to here, hit white and excuse me, then dropping over and dropping down, hit I and then coming over to here, hitting the blue and whoops and then dropping all the way down here again go ahead and hit I alright now that should be all set so the next thing I want to say is I would like this to complete the complete transformation at let's say 20 seconds so that I have 10 seconds of complete transformation so if I go if I bring my calculator over oop, there we go and I go 20 seconds times 24 equals 480 actually 481 let me go ahead and now change to position 481 and at this position here I want everything to be changed to the blender record state and then the last 10 seconds <coughs> would be in complete blender record state so if I come down to here and I take this color and I now transform it all the way to zero hit I and I inserted a keyframe let's run over to here let's go to the white run down here whoops excuse me change to my textures run down all the way to here let's take the color fade it all the way out let's hit I and we hit a keyframe let's run over to here let's hit the orange go back over to the keyframe turn it all the way down hit I and there we go now everything should be set up just right now so let's see what happens uh, let's go ahead and grab this cursor and you can see that as we move it along the timeline there we go everything changes state it stays now I have no idea why that's happening there it shouldn't um, let me go to 241 and let's go let's see it's sitting at 50 percent that should not be let's go ahead and run that up here and hit I go to the white that's correct I must have not hit something and that's correct okay <coughs> so now if I run my deal going you'll see everything stays static up to this point and then it starts its transformation right there goes fully until the end Two forty one and color is one. White color is one and orange color is one. Blue one okay everything's cool now the only other thing left to do is I want to go ahead and get this to spin at the same time so let's go ahead and take care of that and uh, we if we go back to frame one and um, 
a 78 RPM record, which is what these were at the time, was it spins at 78 revolutions per minute. And I have a half a minute in here, so it needs to spin 78, let me see, 78 divide by 2. <coughs> I need to get 39 revolutions and uh, so how far does this go? 721. So if I go 721 divided by 39 it needs to is that correct? every 18 frames it needs to make one complete revolution well I'm not going to be that precise uh, let's say 20 so let's do this let's uh, go to frame 5 whoops I need to back up to frame 1 and let's hit N to bring up this property panel and I want to affect the rotation here so at this state at frame 1 it is at zero rotation on the Z axis so I'm gonna go ahead and hit I and that'll be my rotation. I could have also let me see I'm gonna delete that single keyframe um, if I go ahead and insert single keyframe I don't want to change these rotations right here Uh, because when I go to actually use this in the film I don't want those rotations I, I want to be able to keep these rotations so that I can skew them however I want all right moving up to five frames you notice that's still the same but let's go ahead and rotate this and you can see that I need to go in the negative direction if I'm going to go clockwise so let's go a minus 90 and let's go ahead and hit let's insert a single keyframe let's uh, then go up to frame 10 and let's change this to minus 180 and insert a single keyframe and then let's go ahead and go up one more frame to 15 and let's go a minus 270 which would be another quarter and insert a single keyframe and then let's go ahead and go to frame 20 and insert a single keyframe <coughs> now I could do that all the way through this entire clip but that would be very very boring if I were to grab this right now you'll see that I make one complete revolution but once I get past this spot let me see it should have at 20 and this didn't change for some reason let's go minus 360 and replace single keyframe there we go now if I were to spin this you see that it would make its complete revolution and then it would stop so rather than do that all the way through this clip if we go over to animation 
and we look at e roller e roller rotation let's deselect everything here let's go ahead and just grab that rotation and let me see here did that select A for rotation. I want to let me see. Turn. Let's turn all these off here so I don't select because it's really, really hard to see everything right now. And actually, we can lock all of that there and leave this open. All right. So now if I select everything, which is just the rotation, uh, actually let's come up here. Let's uh, let's come over to here. Let's unlock all this stuff here. I'm kind of going at this a little wrong. Let's A, deselect everything. And let's, I think I can box select here. There we go. And I box selected everything that I did not want to select. So let me unselect all this stuff here. And hold on just a second here. Stop. Stop. Kids are trying to be as noisy as possible. And there we go. I've got all this selected here, which is exactly what I want. And if I go, I think it's marker. No, excuse me, channel extrapolation mode and let's go constant or oh, make cyclic there we go <coughs> now let's see what happens let's go over here and F let's go excuse me 7 to look down and let's see what we did here And I kind of screwed everything up. Oh, I'm in textured mode. There we go. All right. I'm spinning. I keep going. Everything's spinning correctly at 78 RPMs. It starts to make its change and it's fully changed. So I've got everything working the way that I want. Uh, let me go over to default. And if I were to go ahead and animate this right now, or if, if I were to go ahead and hit, uh, let me go ahead and hit file and save. And if I were to close all this up here, and if I hit uh, run, you'll see that it's running rather slow because this isn't really running at 78 RPMs because it's not actually rendering. If I rendered it into a film and actually ran this, it would, it would run at the proper speed. But uh, running this internally in Blender, of course, runs rather, rather slow. So... Uh, you'll have to kind of forgive that but you can see that it is spinning and of course a lot of that has to do with your CPU speed which for me is probably not super great especially when I'm recording but you can see I've just hit that mark and everything starts uh, changing and it's starting to turn more and more into a blender record and as we progress we're about halfway through the transition. It's kind of like a horse race, you know. Uh, 
and uh, and coming around the curve is Blau, and Blau is neck and neck with white and orange. <coughs> and we get to this point here, and the transition is 100% complete. And let's go ahead and hit Escape, and let's bring it over to here, hit F12. You can see that everything is transcended there, and if I were to come over to this here, and if I hit F12, you can see everything is showing just a black vinyl record. If I hit over here and hit F12, you can see that that this is a halfway through. So this is about what I wanted here. Let's go ahead and hit Escape. And I'm going to go ahead and set this at... Actually, I'm going to set it right here. And hit File and Save. And I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my transformation. Oh, excuse me. There is one more thing that we need to do here. And again, let me go ahead and hide my camera. And let's take our Blender record here and actually make it a record. So uh, if we go into this mode here, let's hit A to select everything. And then we can go E to extrude on the Z axis. Let's go ahead and bring it down just a little bit. And tab and we have our blender record and it actually has depth and form now let's go ahead and hit uh, I believe it's shift 7 to look at the bottom and uh, yeah it looks like everything worked out fine let's hit 7 and look at the top and looks like we're good to go so again, I want to thank you again for watching, and uh, have a great day.